Punisher Part 3. Kill 25 scavs on customs. Goodness Let's me. check it out. Now, this isn't necessarily a guide on completing Punisher Part 3 because you have to go into customs with a specific gun and kill 25 scavs. I am going to give you a couple of gun builds. However, this is more of a guide, some tips and tricks on how to complete this task quickly and other PvE guides. So the first thing I suggest, go to Prapper, pick yourself up an AKS-74U. That is the gun that you need to use. Now, I wouldn't use the silence version. The silencer on that gun massively reduces the amount of ergo and slightly increases the vertical recoil. So start yourself off with the loud gun. This is also going to benefit you as scavs are drawn to noises and they are drawn to loud noises. So more scavs will come to an area that you are killing scavs in if you're using a loud gun. Most of the parts for this more expensive build are available for level 3 traders with a couple of items available from the flea market. Now the reason that I suggest this red grip is actually this is the best in slot underneath the SE5 grip which is obnoxiously expensive. You get plus six ergo and you get a minus two percent reduction on your vertical recoil. It also sits around 20,000 rubles on the flea for something that has got that good stat. So this build will set you back around 100,000 rubles. And here's the slightly cheaper build. This, including the gun, will set you back around 60,000 rubles. That is including parts from the flea market. Stick all of the bits on that I've put up on the screen. And then go to town. Now, when it comes to farming AI, the best thing that I can advise you to do is first things first is to use a loud gun. As I've already said, loud guns will attract scavs to that area to come and investigate the shooting. So if you are playing on a quiet server because you just want a quest, this is going to draw scavs from around that vicinity to your area. Be warned though, it will attract other players because they will hear the PvP or hear the shooting, rather, and they will come and investigate. The second thing that you can do is search in the scavs is not only going to improve your search skill, but throwing those items on the floor will also cause scavs to come and investigate. Thirdly, if you know the spawns on a map, after a few minutes, when you think that it is safe to move into those areas where players have spawned and they have moved across the map in the opposite direction from you, for example, move back to those areas. Scavs spawn in in waves. Now, after doing a little research, it doesn't seem to be like there is a specific amount of time in between when they spawn, but they will not spawn if they are, or their spawn point is in line of sight with a player. So move back to the areas where scavs spawn. So for example, if you were to spawn on Gas Hill, where I spawned when I completed this quest, Move back to the USEC buildings where players have spawned and deal with the scavs as I did. More will appear and then you can slowly work your way through the map picking off the scavs that were spawned in after players have moved through that area. So like I said, not necessarily a guide for Punisher Part, part 3 but definitely some tips and tricks for when you are looking to farm scavs 
on maps for specific quests like Punisher Part 3, like the wood scav kills, the shoreline scav kills with shotguns, etc, etc. I hope this helped. Give us a like, give us a subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.